Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to go through um, making a function uh, that will help you do something with SFML that you often need to do, which is you know draw something very specific over and over and over again. So um, I just wanted to start out and kind of keep it short. I kind of did the, the first part of this program, which is I actually wanted to um, make a target. Um, I was thinking, uh, I was watching some people make some games in the one two class, and you know they're making little uh, shooter games where you click on stuff with the mouse. So I thought, hey, making a uh, simple target like this is something that um, you might very uh, frequently want to do. Um, now you could use a sprite, which is something we'll talk about later. But this is just a simple um, three circles that I drew uh, kind of very specifically. So I drew one circle, then another circle, then another circle right on top, and then I. Um, I sort of moved them all to, to one spot. But what if I wanted to have, you know, lots and lots of targets on the screen? I wanted to have, you know, 10 targets on the screen. I, I want a really easy way to say, hey, go to this spot and, and draw the circle. So, um, so let me show you how I, um, how I went about doing that. Um, so the first, the first thing we did is we wanted to just get um, a general idea of how to draw these circles. Um, so one of the things that we do is first um, we'll just kind of look at um, let's just do all the the stuff that Bob Bob did here. Um, so Bob is um, going to be my if you'll notice here I have kind of Bob Bob two and uh, Bob three very original names, but you can tell that Bob is my white circle. And you'll actually see here that I, I draw them in a uh, very specific order, right? Because I want to lay down my big red, my white, and then my little um, red to get the uh, get that, that picture like that. So um, what does this entail? First, I make Bob. Then I set his origin to 50-50. So what does that mean? Um, we talked about it before, but... Normally when we make an object, its center is actually at the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Um, and so, you know, you get your nice, uh, you know, circle or whatever it is, um, and it's drawn um, kind of a little bit down and to the right of, of kind of where you, you think it should be. It's not centered around 0, 0. So the set origin actually changes the center of it relative to that upper left hand corner. So if I say, hey, let's move the origin down 50 pixels and over 50 pixels, well, hey, I just kind of, you know, stepped it down so it's the center of the circle. So if I don't do anything, if I actually just um, don't change the position that it's in, you'll notice that my white circle is actually carefully drawn right around the uh, center because it's origin is at um, zero, 0, I didn't actually move it from the origin and it just sort of slid it up that way. So that's um, get you so you can be really precise with those circles which I know a lot of people want. So um, so yeah, so I make the thing, I move the origin so it's in the center of the circle which is very easy to calculate in the circle but most uh, polygons it's pretty easy to figure out where the center is and then here um, I set the position. Okay, Then I do the same thing with two and two and three, um, giving it a specific color. But now I want to be able to do this all the time. And not only that, I want to make them and, and kind of draw them in one step. So this is where I need to, uh, to make a function. And I'm going to make a function uh, just called draw target. And it's going to take three things. Um, it's going to take the x and y where I want it to be. So in this case, I'm eventually going to move it to 400, 300. So I want it to, to be there, but I want to be able to tell it. Um, and for this version, I'm just going to do um, a uh, real simple uh, thing, and I'll leave it to you guys to homework to change the width of the rings and things like that. But so here, I'm going to say, hey, let's make it for you know position uh, you know x, y. And then this is going to be the sneaky trick we want to do, is we actually want this thing to not only calculate this thing, but actually draw it on on the screen so we're going to tell it where to go and then it's just going to actually do that drawing and you'll notice that I'm passing it a 
render window object and it has this little ampersand to it. Um, and that is a reference. And the reason that we're going to do it, and the reason I called it that window, is that when we use this function, um, we got to remember a little bit about functions. So normally functions, when you send in a value like you know the tx just normally, what happens is that um, in C++ things are passed by value, which means, hey, it takes this variable, um, it gives it a value, it makes this new variable, and it sort of says, hey, for the purposes of this function, it will create tx, and it will hold the, a copy of this value. So it's really important that it makes a copy of the value, it uses it for the function, and that kind of throws everything away. But that's not actually what we want to happen sometimes uh, when we throw some things into a function. In this case, we want to remember that we're drawing on a very specific window. We actually want to draw on actually this window here, this one that we made render window window here. If we just pass it without any kind of special commands, what it would do is it would make a copy of that window and then all of our draw commands and stuff would get sent um, to that copy and it would never show up. It wouldn't change the window that we're looking at. So um, this, is, um, this is a reference to that. It's actually referring to, hey, where is that memory address where I can find this? So you can think of it as you know handing somebody an address and saying, hey, send me that package. The package gets sent, shows up at your door, and things like that. I, I kind of think of it almost like a tunnel, and that sort of when I pass something by reference, I've sort of opened this tunnel, and I can look down the tunnel and, and see the original thing down the tunnel, and I can sort of grab at it and, and do things to it, and it gets changed um, wherever in the program is. So um, this is my prototype. Um, actually, it shouldn't be in the main. I just did that uh, because I was not paying attention. Um, and just wanted to see there, so we will move it outside of the main because that would throw us an error. Um, so now what am I going to do? I'm going to go down to the bottom where I like to define things. And I was going to define this pretty simply. I'm actually going to just use all the same stuff that we set up here. Okay? So um, obviously I could do this a lot uh, nicer um, by maybe, hey look, I have three circles. Um, I could do a nice array of uh, circles or a vector of circles. Um, maybe that would be a good homework assignment is to ask you to make a target of um, however many circles I ask you to make. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'll do that. So here, now I'm just going to set the position based on TX and TY. And we will do that a couple of times. So I'm actually just going to copy and paste. That's going to make my life a little easier. Hooray, and we'll stick with uh, this color scheme. Okay, cool. So, And I'm keeping the same size circles and all that thing. So now, if I want to do this, I can get rid of all this, this drawing that I have to do. And I could say, you know what? I actually, I don't call window.drawBob, window whatever. I'm actually going to take that stuff out and throw it into my function. Okay, my function is actually going to do the drawing that I want. And I want it to say, well, that window. So that window that we referred to. That's the, that's the name we gave the, the, the thing that we, they're referencing. So now I am uh, going to draw in the same order because I want the you know, big one there. And again, this is a little bit, uh, I'll say, ugly code, but um, I just wanted to kind of uh, keep it quick and... Uh, you know, just do it. So now, what do I do? Well, I'm going to go back into my main. I'm going to do window clear. And instead, I'm just going to say, well, draw target. And then we'll just give it a value. So in this case, I might do 400, 300. That was cool. And I can say, hey, let's draw another target. And I'm going to draw it at, um, I don't know, 200, 100. So now, I've just, you know, nothing that will kill us. Okay. Um, ba 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 ba, circle shape Bob, you should be pretty happy. Okay. So, give this a run, and voila, we have drawn two clever little targets to the screen. And if we want to add lots and lots of targets, um, we can just keep calling draw target. Okay, so, um, I don't know, what do we want to do? We want to do 400, 100 in window. So, next.